Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel, the Bearded Apprentice. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, if you don't mind, like, subscribe, hit the bell, let you know when I drop new content, which is usually on Mondays, Wednesdays, sometimes the weekends, depending on product and schedule. So we're gonna be doing something a little different tonight. I'm gonna be bringing you my top five scent profiles that contain oud. Uh, a couple honorable mentions. Uh, it may not be what you're expecting from me, or it may be exactly what you're expecting from me. I will link the companies down below in the description, and we'll get into it right after this, guys. Thanks. Hey guys, welcome back from the intro. Uh, first off, we're going to start off with the uh, honorable mentions. I have two. Uh, I hate narrowing down these scents to my top five, but... I feel like I need to and you know I want to you know let you guys know uh, which ones I like best so first off we're gonna go with broke ass beard supply number 24 uh, this is based off uh, the Tom Ford oud mineral uh, cologne um, it's a very nice oud scent I mean to me it's pretty much straight oud with a slight spice to it but all in all it's a great great scent uh, i suggest if you haven't tried broke ass beard supply you try them i mean for i think it's like 13 bucks shipped it's not a bad price and i mean i'm not going to really get into the carrier blends or anything like that for the honorable mentions but uh if you're if you have a beard and you like oud you should try broke ass beard supplies number 24. next uh it's probably on everybody's top five list and I mean, I, I enjoy the scent, but my next honorable mention is the Holy Grail from Kingsman. And I believe a lot of people in the beard community already have this. And I mean, if you don't, I mean, I recommend you pick it up if, if you're an Oud fan. I mean, this is just straight Oud. Um, it reminds me of uh, a cologne. It's a nice Oud scent. Uh, you should own it if you have a beard and you like Oud. Um, great 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 scent uh, next we're gonna get into my top five and right as you break into top five my number five is going to be Nicholas Beard Works Royal Oud uh, this is from their prestige oil line um, as far as Oud goes these guys have a pretty good hold on Oud I mean, to me, it reminds me of it reminds me of an incense type oud. I mean, I guess that's where they get the name Royal Oud. Um, he is he's just a great blender of scents. I mean, it's a very nice oud scent, and uh, I suggest you at least look into him. I mean, he does offer sample packs. Nicholas Beard Works Royal Oud, my number five. Uh, number four is going to be none other than Anointed AK Agarwood. Now Anointed AK is known for many scents, having many scents, producing you know lots of scents. And this to me, I mean, he even describes it as a sophisticated oud cologne. That's what I get. I get it's, it's not your typical oud stank. It's more of a a cologne with with an oud note to it but it's a very 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 nice scent it could be worn on date night it could be worn just about anywhere it's pretty pleasant um, the next one we're gonna get into is Poe from Chesapeake Beard Works or Beard and Grooming sorry about that uh, this is a straight birchwood oud I mean, it's a nice oud scent. It's very pleasant. It's not overbearing. It's not a, you know, like a stink. It's a stank. It is good. It is one of my go-to oud scents when I want to wear straight birchwood oud. I'm going with Poe from Chesapeake. Next, we have Black Rebel. The Rebel scent. Uh, this is pretty much a woodsy cologne with an oud kick to it, an oud spice. I mean, it's a very, very, very nice scent. 
there's a reason it's in my top two. I mean, I just I, I acquired this, I don't know, probably about a month ago. Maybe a little over. Like, I'm very impressed with Pedro's blending ability and his scent choices for his profiles. Black Rebel. The Rebel. Great scent. Great scent. Super. I really like that scent. I find myself wearing it a lot as well. And my number one oud scent is going to be tailored man from the tailored beard company look at that label tailored man this is a tobacco oud and i mean you get the tobacco and you get the oud and scott blended them very well i mean he is the self-proclaimed king of oud and he's you know he's got a lot of people saying it as well uh, Matt No BS just released uh, a review for him, and I mean, I've released a review on Taylor Beard. Like, there's, he's got a lock on oud. Like, he's got oud and everything. He's got oud pomegranate. He's got exotic ouds. He's got oud barbershop, and that's another one. I mean, he's got it. If if there's a scent profile he's got, it's probably got oud in it, with the you know exception of three or four, but. He is, he is definitely putting out some great, great oud stank if you like oud scented, you know, profiles. Once again, my number one scent profile that contains oud is going to go with Taylor Beard Company, Tailored Man. And uh, that's going to wrap it up for my top five oud, guys. Um, I really appreciate you guys hanging out and look out for uh, Blue Collar Beards on Thursday nights at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Daniel the Bearded Apprentice YouTube channel. Thanks guys, I appreciate it. And uh, learn something new today, let it grow. Thanks.